Hi, I'm Ted Pickens from BiteWiser.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a U.S. interstate highway sign. So the first thing that you'll need is to go out onto the web and find this Highway Gothic font set. It's free so there shouldn't be any problem getting it. Well, let's get started by uh, turning on your grid and let's grab the Bezier tool and we'll make something a little triangle something like this and I'd rather just have a stroke right here instead of anything in the middle as far as color goes and let's do something kinda like this bend this down a little bit and then grab this guy here and apparently I grabbed it too high I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna bring this out and I grabbed it too low that time There we go. Something like that. I'm going to want to bring this in just a little bit. Bring that up. Okay. I might I might have moved that down too far. Yeah, there we go. And so now we can take this, duplicate it by doing control D and we'll uh, rotate this around horizontally. Let's grab it and move it over here and let's perform a union on it and it looks a little bit thin so I'm just gonna drag this out until it looks right that looks pretty good so now I'm just gonna fill this in with some sort of gray color oh I better select it with a gray color for now get rid of the stroke and now I can duplicate it do another control D and I'll just change it to this blue color here. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna uh, do a dynamic offset on this and I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit. Do an object to path on that now. And so now we got our shape, this white or this gray that's around here is uh, the white that you'll see on the outside of a sign. So Let's go and I'm actually going to duplicate this blue piece. We'll get to that later. But we got this uh, two blue pieces here. We got the two blue pieces here. And now we want this rectangle. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us the top part of our highway sign. I want to move that up a little bit so it looks right. And just a little more. Eh. I gotta turn off this grid so I can get kind of in between there. There. Let's do an object to path on this rectangle. And I'm gonna press shift and select this first uh, copy of this blue shape. And I'm gonna perform an intersection on it. Let's change that to red. And now what we can do is we can do the same thing. Grab this this guy here. And we'll want to give this about as much width between here and this red shape as we have with the gray that's going around the whole shape here. Something like this ought to be good. Ah. You know what, I, I should just alt up this until I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to go and select the blue piece below it do another intersection on that and there we go we got that going on here so now what we need is we need our highway text so I'm gonna do this and what I want is highway narrow now we can type in interstate Use the same light gray color. Move that in here. And first, let's. Uh, what what I want to do is move this right into the center of the screen. There we go. And that's that might be a little bit too gray. There we go. And now we can get our highway number. So we'll say Highway uh, 17. I have no idea where Highway 17 is, but it's somewhere around here. 
and I don't want that narrow. I don't want to use the highway narrow font set. I want to use the highway gothic font set. So let's see. Um, I don't think it actually did anything there. 17. And that's narrow again. I want to change that to gothic. And there's something really weird about the regular highway gothic font where it zooms you in a whole lot. But, okay, we got our text here. And we can, uh, okay, I'm going to zoom in here. Ah! My opacity's down on some of this stuff, so I'm going to crank that up on everything. That's just not right. Okay. So now we can uh, make this 17 a little bit bigger. Now that 17 center doesn't look quite right, and in fact, it's probably moved over a little bit. There we go. I'm going to change this light gray here to this color. You know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to select the colors kind of in between that. There we go. And now I'm going to grab my highway text. Highway number text. Use a dropper. And there we go. There's our highway sign. Now sometimes, well, first of all, I'm going to group this together before anything happens. And so we can see the white a little bit better. I'm going to give this a black background to move it to the back by pressing end. So there we can see our highway sign. And sometimes when you see highway signs, sometimes they say what direction you're going to be going. Uh, let's just make this something that stands out now. So what we're going to do, well, first I'm going to scale this down a little bit. And this guy is just a little bit big. Okay. And I'm going to move this in the center of the page. Move this in the center. Good. I'm going to grab my dropper. I'm going to turn that the same color there. And now we can do an object to path on this. Let's duplicate it. Change it to the same blue color right here. And by the way, I am using the Ubuntu color set here. Okay, and now I'm going to perform a dynamic offset on this blue. Bring that in just a little bit. And a little more than that. Okay, and do an object to path on that. Now what we can do is we can grab our text tool and type in this is probably a north-south road since it's an odd number. And we'll use our dropper to make it the same color as that 17. Well, I must have missed it since I was zoomed out so far. There we go. And let's make this big. And we'll center that up. Okay. And last thing we can do is group this together and make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. So there's our highway sign. It didn't take too long to make, and it's uh, fairly simple. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.